What's going on everybody? In this video, we are gonna be breaking down one of the most, less commonly used, but most glitchy uh, two-play concept or two-play combination in the trips tight end offense. What's up guys, my name is Cody and I wanna thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If this is your first time visiting my channel, my channel is all about helping people become the best Madden players that they could possibly become. And so if you're looking to get better at this game, I just wanna encourage you to click the subscribe button at the bottom of the screen. It's completely free to subscribe to the channel. And it just allows you to be able to stay up to date with the latest tips and strategies that we post every single day on this channel. Now, like I said, I'm going to be talking to you in this video about the trips tight end offense. I believe the trips tight end offense is the best offense in the game right now. And the main reason that I believe that is because of its ability to basically just have so many um, great spacing concepts, great route combinations, but also has a lot of balance. It has some very good running concepts some very good plays that you can use. And I actually wrote or I actually posted a two hour offensive meta update in my true fan membership. Now, if you don't know what my true fan membership is, my true fan membership is a membership that I have launched, which basically is for the people that would consider themselves true fans or true followers of my channel if you consider yourself a true fan of my channel that means that you're wanting to get better at this game you're wanting to become the best Madden player that you can possibly become and so the what we've done is we've basically created this um, true fan membership essentially what it is is it's an ability for us to be able to do a deep dive into the game it's a platform that we've created where we can only have a limited amount of people that can join it and if you want to join it the space is limited so make sure to hit that link in the description but basically what you're going to get when you sign up for the true fan membership is you're going to get three videos every single week that are going to basically have a meta twist to it or a deep dive into something to Madden. I have offense, I do an offensive video every week, I do a defensive video every week, and I do a pro player film study analysis every single week. So if you wanna get access to that, you get three videos a week, 12 videos a month for just $5 a month. This is the best way that you can get better at this game. It's the most simplified way that you can get the content that you need, but also the platform that allows us to be able to deeply dive into the nuts and bolts of offense, defense, and what the pro players are doing. So if you wanna get access to all of that, that is available down in the description. Okay guys, so in this video, we're talking about this play right here, RPO zone alert bubble. We're gonna talk about this play and we're gonna talk about the slot swing. Both of those are very similar and I wanna show you a little bit of a nuance. You wanna come out in these plays. These are not plays that you wanna to audible to. These are plays that you wanna come out in in the trips tight end. And uh, the reason why I say that is because if you if you audible, um, let's, say I, let's say I'm coming out in quick base, you see that they move to the left just a little bit. If I audible to this, it's an obvious tell. Very obvious that you've motioned, the defense is gonna know. So what I like to do is just come out in these plays um, in certain situations. Now, one of the defenses that is really, really popular this year is the cover three Mabel. Essentially, it looks like this right here. And then if they're trying to stop your 45 quick base, it's all in all likelihood they're gonna do some kind of, something like this right here. The beauty of this RPO bubble is it is an inside zone run that is attached to a bubble screen. So what I like to do is I like to double team the defensive, um, the defensive tackle on the right side. I like to ID the user. And then we're gonna try to basically just run this ball straight forward, as you can see right there. Now, if they're usering that middle linebacker, chances are they're gonna be able to shoot the gap through and they're gonna be able to make a play. The beauty of this is this forces them to have to user this guy right here. Because if they're if they're using this guy, they're not going to be able to stop the stop both of the the concepts. And so by because they have to be over here, right here in that position, what's going to happen is you are going to be able to just pepper with this bubble screen. You can just throw the bubble screen as you see right there. It almost always I'm pass committing on defense. I showed you my zone drops ahead of time. We have our zone drops on kind of the. The, the standardized zone drops, if you will, where we have our purple set to five yards, our flat set to 25 yards. And what you're gonna notice is this circle receiver is really gonna do a good job of just br typically breaking that tackle. Occasionally the player will jet out, he will hit him and he will make a play, but he'll never intercept the pass. And that's what makes this a very safe call for you to be able to go to as an offensive player. So as you're kind of going through this, 
first things first i want to be very clear they do have to pass commit to stop this if they don't pass commit they're not going to stop it as you see right there though what i'm doing is once i catch the ball i'm really jetting to the outside i'm holding uh, the turbo button and i'm really trying to get my player to really get outside of this um outside of this block so the reason that that works is they're almost always almost always are going to miss this tackle like that animation right there i cannot stress to you how um consistent that animation is going to happen and so let me just show you another type of defense they're going to employ it's going to look something like this this is probably honestly one of my favorite plays to call um, if my opponent is man coverage and we'll talk about that in just a moment but this is an example of the purple zone being outside of the player and i just want you to see the bubble screen as it pertains to this it's actually better if they do it like this as you can see right there we're able to get outside and make some plays uh, in the open field so it's a very consistent and very safe play especially if their zone drops are um 5 25. if they're any higher than zero you're good if their zone drops are any higher than zero you're good now you notice against man coverage this is very consistent as well let me show you what happens um, so man coverage comes I'm shading underneath I'm shading outside and, and I'm pass committing and if you watch they're just gonna get these natural picks and rubs all the while if you want to run and this is where this is a really really powerful play if your opponent is doing um, this defense right here if this is what they're commonly doing oftentimes you're gonna see this shift right here and if you see something like this if you can make this handoff just do a little stop and go in the backfield and as you can see you can go to the right which is really a, a powerful concept when you consider that they they are going to be over committing to stopping the base run so what this is now going to do is now they can't shift to the right well if they can't shift to the to the or they can't shift to the left if they can't shift to the left then you can run base if they shift to the left like this then you can run inside zone and so there you see kind of the the cat and mouse game um, that we get if they don't blow that run up with their user which they can blow that run up with their user i don't want to say that they can't but if they don't you're gonna have a big play and that's why it's such a good little concept and good little play to go to one other thing about man coverage i just want to show you this route one more time just really simple natural pick natural rub and as you can see this is about 10 to 15 yards it's a very safe play call that you can use and um, the other thing is what i like about this is if we go to this slot swing you do notice that there is a motion of these players and the reason i want to show this is this is one of my favorite plays to go to once i've forced them to have to respect the bubble screen it's very likely that you're going to see you know something in essence of this defense right here and they're going to basically they might even put this guy on a you know zero yard flat the reason this is really good is this inverted uh slant a little deeper slant to square what's going to happen is you're going to see that this square route is going to consistently just dot up this coverage if they have a purple zone out there and they don't have a yellow there even if they do have a yellow you're going to have a lot of success so let me show you what i'm talking about so if i do something like that right there or i have a purple and i have a yellow i just wanted to show you um how this combination is going to work now you can't do any hot routes on this play this is just something that is uh you know just a you're, you're literally just calling hike here but you look at this the yellow zone doesn't cover that deep slant it's a it's 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 a deeper slant it's not exactly a post it's a deeper slant route and so it's really really good especially when your opponent is running a lot of mabel coverage this is one of my favorite concepts to go to the other thing that i like about this concept or this this offense here is the slant route kills man coverage you see they get that nice little it's almost like it literally is almost like a short post dive catch animation and i really like that about this play this play looks very similar to pa bubble but or uh, to zone bubble but it's 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 very different in, in essence of how it works if you watch this circle receiver the other thing i want to know to just kind of point out is that you get a nice natural little rub and you can get some space against man coverage and really go to work against the defense the other thing that i like about this slot swing route is this route to the x receiver you're going to see that basically if it's man coverage he's going to get a nice little instant win animation to the outside and be a nice little route that you can rely upon these two plays combined together make up a really simple little short passing um, scheme from trips tight end that is very very effective and it really forces your opponent to have to overcommit to stopping that bubble screen putting his zone drops down and all these things and that's going to open up bigger plays for the offense in the future if you want to learn exactly what i do and how i run the trips tight end offense be sure to join that true fan membership down in the description it's literally just five bucks a month 
and it will get your Madden game to a whole nother level. We don't just cover trips tight in, we cover bunch, we cover bunch tight in, literally get you everything. So be sure to do that. It's the best product that I've ever released and I'm super, super jacked about it. So far we've got great uh, feedback on, on the videos that we've done so far. We've got three videos up and we've got more on the way so uh, thanks for watching hope you enjoyed the video and if you want to become a true fan of the channel be sure to hit that link down in the description and it'll take you to get everything set up